please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be designing these aprons. The red aprons are going to be for Madison and Aaron and they have hats. And the green aprons are going to be for myself and my auntie Christina. So today Madison and I took our first Christmas pictures. I'm a photographer and this is my first time taking professional pictures, which is kind of weird, but it'd be like that sometimes. So for me and Madison together. So we went ahead and did that today. That's why I look a little decent because typically I'll be having behind the camera because your girl be a hot mess. You heard me? So yes. So today we took pictures So I'm like, let me get in front of the camera a little bit. So anywho, but I came home, did a bunch of orders, editing photos. It's Christmas time. It was Black Friday. I've been busy, busy, booked and busy. I hope y'all been busy too. So anywho, but I have to make time for my daughter. So we are going to be baking cookies and different things like that. And I actually might bring y'all along to that too. But before we go over there, I got to make these. I've been fulfilling orders and editing pictures and doing everything else. I haven't made our thing. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get to it. Let's go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the um, 3D vinyl from Atlanta vinyl. I got white. And what I'm going to do is, oh, yeah, that's where it's at. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put their names on here. So I'm going to put Madison and I'm going to put Aaron on here in the 3D puffy vinyl. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to decorate their actual little apron, um, the design for that. So let's get their names and stuff together. Okay, so I am just cutting up the font that I'm going to be using. And this font I got from Cricut. It is called Cutting Up, which is funny. I said cutting up. I'm really weeding it, but whatever. Um, it's called Cutting Up Cartoon. And um, I'm subscribed to Cricut, so I got it for part of my subscription. So that's the name of the font. And I'm just weeding Madison and Aaron's name. And I'm going to put this on their hats. So that's just what I'm doing right now. So y'all know I keep it real, right? I looked and I was asked. Y'all said, y'all not going to be talking about me on this channel. So let me go ahead and uh, put some lotion on real quick. <laughs> don't judge me. Actually, like, judge me. I don't care. Then we want to make sure that it's in the same alignment as this. You don't want to have it all over here or over there. So you want to make sure it's in alignment. That. I have a different type of tape. I use this tape for my mug for the first time. This is Cricut. I use this for my mug for the first time. And I like it a lot. But this one, remember, I got this one with some the Amazon package a while ago. And I still like this one. Then I got this one from Amazon. So I got, I got all types of heat transfer tape. All right, so here I'm just taping the name on the aprons. This material, I believe it's um, more poly and then cotton. It was a little bit difficult, not for this tape, but for the Cricut tape to get on there. That's why I said I like this tape. So I put it um, on a heat press. And um, you see, I put it on the side so that I could get just the part that I want to press. So I did that, and that's how I pressed the hat. Super cute. And it's the puffy hat.
Okay, so one of the main things when doing aprons is you want to make sure the measurements are correct. It's not the same as my little cheat sheet, my cheat sheet, my t-shirt cheat sheet sizing chart. So we have to actually measure it. I want the image to be, I'm assuming like seven and a half. I may do seven just to be safe. I'll do seven and a half in width and seven so i'll do seven in width and seven and a half in height or seven it depends once i get on your seat okay so you want to measure the apron because each apron is different so this is going to be the measurement for the child for madison and aaron's and then while we're here let's go ahead and do me and christina's apron as well so for the adult apron, the one that we specifically have, I will do eight in width and then a height. I'll do eight. So I'll do eight by eight for the adult one. Okay. So that's one of the main things you want to do when you're doing um, aprons is check that. Also, this material is a little bit different. So you want to check the material. It's 65% polyester, 35% cotton for the adults. And I think the kids is oh it doesn't say for the kids hmm. it's probably the same okay so we whisk you a merry christmas this is what's going to go on the girls aprons i end up doing seven by seven remember i said i didn't know which one i just did seven by seven but this is what we're going to put on there i actually got this image from um google i googled it and then i went in canva and i deleted the background okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make this and this is what i'm gonna put on the girls aprons Yay! So this is the finished product for Madison and Erin. It looks so cute. It turned out really, really cute. And that was actually kind of easy to weave. Um, so yeah, we love it. Madison, Erin, we whisk you a Merry Christmas. So that's theirs. And um, it was pretty simple to make. Um, now we're going to show you what I'm going to make for Christina and I is life is what you bake it. I thought that was super, super cute. Uh, we got this image from Etsy and I could say what shop it is. I'm actually going to make some um, pot holders with some of these too. So yeah, so life is what you bake it. That is just too cute. And this is the finished product for that. So let's go ahead and get on over. If you want, follow us over to my auntie's house. And we're going to be decorating cookies. And we're going to show you. Here's the sneak peek. We're going to show you how to make the... Stay tuned to see. So this is me and my TT Chrissy live in the flesh. And we are going to have some fun with our daughters. My daughter is Madison. Her daughter is Erin. Here is Madison and I in our little costumes. And you see her house is decorated nice and pretty. And then here is TT Chrissy and Erin. And we are about to get it started. So I'm going to show you just briefly. Um, 
the decoration area what we're how we're going to decorate the cookies and then i'm going to show you our treat of what we're going to um make for the first time okay okay so we're at my aunt's house and we are going to be decorating ugly sweaters so here's our little setup here and we are so excited it's gonna be so much fun Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on making, what is it you're making, Christina? Hot cocoa bombs. Hot cocoa bombs. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is what? You melted the chocolate. Hold the chocolate up. We're going to show them exactly how we did. Hold it down here up, though. Yep, hold it up. So this was the chocolate, and we melted it. How long did you put it in the microwave? 30 seconds at a time, and it only took like two and a half uh, rounds in the microwave. So this is the consistency you want. Um, you, I'm using silicone molds. This is a special chocolate for hardening on um, fruits, your favorite fruits and things like that. So it hardens quickly. Um, but to speed the process, you can put it in um, the refrigerator after you coat the sides, taking special care to make sure the edges are well coated. Um, and you put it in the refrigerator for five minutes. Five minutes. So I'm about to refrigerate these. And just a little disclaimer, this is our first time making these. So we'll see how they turn out. And we're excited. Yay. Yeah. All right. Headed to the refrigerator. All right. So they are out of their fridge. And now we're going to put our second layer um, so that we have nice, hard, thick shells. So that when we um, go to melt them together, each side together, they won't crack. So that's what I'm doing, Speaking, taking special care to make sure the edges are nice and thick. Okay, we're going to do this for all six of these. Mm -hmm. For each side. And then we'll put the things, then the next step, you'll let us know that when the, we get there. Yeah. Okay. The next step is the fun part, the filling. And we'll be back to show that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Second coating going back into the fridge. So it's two coats and then the filling. That's the step. Yes. Okay. And then this is going to go back into the fridge for five more minutes. Yes. Okay. Let's take them out of the molds. Be very careful not to crack them. Okay. So this is the second layer. We put them in for five minutes. It, ooh, oh, that's a good one. Okay, so this is our first time, like she said, so it's kind of hard. We don't want to crack them, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. So now I'm going to show you. I cracked the side of that one a little bit. It's um, okay. It's okay. It's our first time. Oh, okay. So. And you melt the ends together. So I'm going to show you how to, I might be able to fix them when I melt them together. But first you have to fill one side. So Madison, come over here and grab the spoon. Okay. And take a spoonful of cocoa mix and put it in here. All right. Okay. Madison, get in the camera, get down a little bit, get in the camera because this is the tutorial. <laughs> oh, right, she took Aaron, her hat off. Come and All grab right. some. Oh, air oh. still marshmallows on camera. <laughs> oh, Madison. All right, Aaron, and come put some marshmallows in here. Put maybe like three. Scoot down so I can get your pretty face, Aaron. Thank you. All right, so we're going to put a couple in. What I want to do is go in. They took their hats off. They hurt my head. <laughs> okay, so they have the hot cocoa. Yeah. The marshmallows. Let's take a hat. All right, so I have one side of the hot cocoa bomb filled, and then I took this plate. Heat it up in the microwave for about 60 seconds until it's slightly warm to the touch. Because mm -hmm. what you want to do is take one end and start to melt it. Oh my goodness, that is so see cool. How it's melting? And then that's supposed to help it seal to the other side. I don't know how well it's going to do it. It looks like it's doing it. <gasps> oh my goodness. Not bad for our first time. So what I'm going to do is kind of take this and... Go around it. Go around that looks it. just like the ones you had bought from the store. 
when they had you know, the ones that were in the thing you bought from the store that's exactly mm -hmm. how they look and then you can decorate the outside of these um with some color melters chocolate you can put little swirls we didn't buy any of that we were just trying to make them for the first time we have stuff we could have put if we wanted to but... oh we have some icing we could probably put let's just try that let's see I'm gonna take some green icing. I like it like that, but go ahead. And just try to put, give me the uh, red icing. Let me try the red icing. And I'm just gonna put like a little red swirl. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that is so I cute. Mean, just to show Ooh, you. I want to look. eat that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go, and then what you do is you want to heat up some milk. And I'm going to go do that, and then we're going to drop our cocoa bomb in the warm milk, and we'll come back to show you that. Oh, show the sides. Let's see. It looks good, Christina. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. So we're going to give the hot milk a try. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for your time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. Holla at your girl. Join my Facebook group. Follow me on my social media accounts. And thank y'all. This is a little bit different, right? So I did a couple different things this time. Let me know if y'all like it. Um... Yeah, so once again, y'all be safe now. You hear? Thank you. Love y'all. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.